Good evening, brothers and sisters, children. I'd like to encourage everyone to praise the Lord, especially during difficult times. This morning we heard about the blue sky, and we sang about it, but we don't see it because it's gloomy outside. We praise the Lord even though we don't see it sometimes. We don't see the deliverance yet, but we know it's coming. Let's read Psalm 150. This is my favorite psalm, and it's in the ESV version. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with trumpet sounds. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with tambourine and dancing. Praise Him with string and pipe. Praise Him with the sound of cymbals. Praise Him with loud, clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'd like to remind everyone this evening to never forget to praise the Lord. Children, learn this for every day of your lives. Thank God always. Always thank God in the morning to the late hours of the day. Praise Him with who you are. Praise Him with what you have. Verse 4 says, Praise Him with tambourine and dancing. Dasha and I went to Africa. We would see them have all these dresses at church. They would be dancing and they would be shaking each other's hands. It was wonderful. God made us all different. And He made us to praise Him with everything that we have. Verse 5 says, Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with loud clashing cymbals. We as saves are really loud. I know the sound room said, speak further away from the mic. And when you would come over for, to our house and we would be talking, we were always talking loud and everybody thinks we're arguing. But not the Tishinko family. When I would work with, was working with Alex II, I would go to their house and they would be talking amongst each other. It felt like somebody was sleeping in the other room. I'm like, why are you whispering? And when we would drive with Alex anywhere, I would like the music loud. He always likes the music quiet. We are all so different. In houses where it's quiet and everyone whispers, let those whispers praise the Lord. In houses where it's loud, may those loud voices praise the Lord. In houses full of drums and loud instruments, may all those instruments praise the Lord. How easy it is to thank the Lord during good times, but yet we still forget to. How much harder it is to thank the Lord during hard and painful times. When you praise the Lord, it's basically us shifting that difficult, the difficulty, the pain into God's hands. He has it now. Every time I remember to praise the Lord in the hardest times of my life, it would turn out to be better than I would ever imagine. I would start to see the blessing in the situation the lesson in the situation. And when I was in sin, the pain and the hurt would, would bring instant clarity. So many times I would be on the way to the hospital with a serious injury. But on the way to the hospital, I would be praising the Lord to later find out my injury was not so bad. With minimal recovery time, God always would have somehow, he would work it out. Even when I was preparing for, for, for this sermon, I, I went to one of the stores and I was looking for something and I, I saw that it was sold out. So as I was making my way to the other store, I was praising the Lord. I was walking in, I was like, praise the Lord. And as soon as I walk in, that item that I need was right there. And I was just like, thank you, God. And I have a story for you children. Who knows Meek, our Rottweiler. So when, I, when he was young, I would take my little puppy everywhere. I would take him, I, I, I would actually say, uh, sometimes I would say, Meek has been to more Bible studies than a lot of Christians in the church. Because I would literally take him everywhere. I didn't have kids at the time, so I would take Meek, and then he grew up. And I, was always take, I would take him in the back of, the, of my truck. He would always be sitting there. And one day we were driving to Vadim's house. We've never been there. He just built his house, and he invited us over. So we were traveling, we were trying to catch up to him, and he was driving pretty fast. And he was in the back of the bed of the truck. And there was this big turn right before his house, and we turn, and I see Meek fly out and start tumbling over and over and over again in the mirror. 
And I said, this is it. It's over. So we stopped. Me and Dasha were in the, in the truck. And we said, let's praise God before we ran out. Before even we ran out, while he was there laying, we said, let's praise God. So we praised him. And we ran out. And we see he's dying. So we bring him in the truck. We take him to my brother's house. And guess what? His neighbor was a vet. She was a vet. She came over and she was an animal doctor. And she was helping him out. And a week later, he was walking. Praise him when you don't even feel it or see it. It's important to praise the Lord during the good times. But when we thank God during the hard and uncomfortable times and the painful times, now that kind of praise has heaven watching. Praise the Lord sets our hearts and our minds to focus on the power of God, not the fear of men. When fear creeps in, that should be a good indicator when we should start praising the Lord. Start thanking Him for the situation. Acknowledge that He is in control. David, when he was surrounded by the enemies... Look how he starts talking to God in Psalm 108, the New English translation. First, he starts off by praising him. So I determined, oh God, I will sing and praise you with my whole heart. Awake, O oh stringed instrument and harp. I will wake up at dawn. I will give you thanks before the nations. O oh Lord, I will sing praises to you before the foreigners. For your loyal love extends beyond the skies. Your faithfulness reaches the clouds. Rise up above the sky, O oh God. May your splendor cover the whole earth. Deliver by the power and answer me. So that the ones you love may be safe. And later, towards the end, last verse says, Give us help against this, the, the enemy. For any help man might offer is futile. But God's power we will conquer. We, he will trample down our enemies. Such confidence. Before victory came, he was praising the Lord. We should practice this and teach it to our children. To say thank you to God always, no matter the situation. Let's thank Him first for making a way of salvation through Jesus. Let's thank Him for all the men and women of faith in the Bible. And we see how God delivered them. And let's also remember how God delivered us through situations that we seem to forget all the time. Praise the Lord for this opportunity that God and the Holy Spirit are reminding us to thank Him for everything. To never to stop praising Him for, who he, for the one who gave us eternal life. As a father, I am so generous to my children when they are thankful. And it makes me want to give them more and more. But when they are complaining and ungrateful, as an earthly father, I'm tempted to take away that which was given. The Jewish people were complaining in the wilderness. And they could, and, and could you imagine the outcome if they, would have, if they would have been praising the Lord? Let's not be a church that complains, that murmurs, that is grumpy. Let's be a church that together worships the Lord because all week we were praising Him. A week of praises to God will equal a Sunday of worship. How could we worship the Lord if we're complaining? Praises to our Lord during difficult situations will set our mind on Him and we will notice the good out of every situation. I like how Matthew Henry, who was a minister in England, reacted to when he was robbed. Somebody robbed him and this is what he said. Listen, children, what he said. He said, let me be thankful. First, because I was never robbed before. Second, because although the thieves took my all, it was not much. And third, because it was I who was robbed and not I who robbed. When trials come, may the first thought, may the first words that come out of our mouth be praises to God, knowing that He is in control and only He can walk us through it. Brothers and sisters, children, Let's silence our worries and fears with words of praises to our Lord Christ Jesus. And together with David, 
Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him with his mighty heavens. Praise him with his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sounds. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's pray.